the, uh, the club DJ, Judge Jules. Uh, here comes the judge. He's with us here this morning. Uh, Jules, good to, good to speak to you today. But you are here as a bit of a prophet of doom, a bit of a warning to everybody today after maybe weekend excesses. Tell us more. Well, it's Tinnitus Awareness Week, and Tinnitus is a bit of a, a sleeping giant, really, when it comes to um, the damage that one can cause to oneself. Um, so Action on Hearing Loss have been, uh, have been trying to raise awareness to, to, to this issue, um, both from a perspective of going out late night in clubs and probably even more worryingly, the volume to which people have their smartphones. Something like 10% of the population, according to recent research, have tinnitus to a varying extent, starting at light ringing in the ears to going on to something as serious as actually uh, stops one from sleeping and actually functioning. And it's not getting any better because people simply don't treat it as, a, as an issue worth taking seriously. And once you lose it, you're not going to get it back. It's not like, for example, if you drink a bit too much when you're young and you're not, you're not overdoing it, then perhaps the liver can replenish itself. The ears simply don't do the same thing. Yeah, when you begin to realise something's wrong, it might be a bit too late. Um, but th this figures are showing now that a third of people say that they crank up their, their music players above 85 decibels, and 85 decibels is the, the safe level, and that is just below the volume of a pneumatic drill. So I, I know you're talking about personal devices with all of this. Any damage done to me was probably done by guys like you in the, in the 70s and the 80s, going into clubs and everything, banging and booming out. Are there any um, uh, safeguards put in place there when you go clubbing? Well, of course, it might sound a bit rich for me, somebody who's made a career out of people enjoying loud and often too loud music, but there's a bit of, a, there's a bit of damage limitation that can happen. Um, for obviously, and, and I see it all the time when I'm out DJing, do not stick your head in the speakers. I mean, people seem to treat it as, as a kind of almost silly badge of honour to be yeah. as close and as, and as damaged by the, by, by the speakers as possible. Take some, take some breaks. All clubs have got kind of chill-out areas. Uh, and just, if you are waking up the following morning with, with ringing, in your ears, ringing in your ears, then you're not kind of listening to this bit of advice. And unfortunately... With a bit of intoxication, it makes things worse. People tend to uh, throw caution just, to the wind. Just, just, just finally and briefly, uh, we mentioned that 85 decibels, and if you're talking about a personal uh, device, how do you actually know? Is there a limiter? How could you actually measure what is safe and what isn't? Well, since February 2013, all new smartphones have been uh, come pre-installed with a warning if you go over that limit. And the irony is these 500-pound or thereabout smartphones come with these tiny, crappy little um, pairs of headphones that are actually really quite bad for your hearing. So at the very least, go out and get a decent pair of noise-cancelling headphones. Yeah. Before it's too late, interesting advice. Thank you very much indeed, Jules. We, we say goodbye to you now. Thank you very much indeed for that. It's Tinnitus Awareness Week.